Hey everybody, this is Jill with Jill for Today. There's uh, the director and he is holding a jalapeno pepper. Say hello, director. Hello. <laughs> we, um, we are living in a condominium, so we don't have gardening um, possibilities. So we buy stuff, right, when we can. Um, we purchased four pounds of jalapeno peppers through Azure Farms. I'm gonna go down. There we go. And right now, um, the director is using our mandolin, which kind of made me nervous to begin with, but he is cutting these jalapenos in quarter inch slices. And we bought, I think I said four pounds of them and we are dehydrating. Look at that beauty there. Is that just, let me zoom in on that a little bit here. Here we go. I'm just getting used to my camera. Okay, that's beautiful. That is, that's a beautiful uh, pepper. Anyway, um, we have uh, purchased these at Azure Farms, which is a wonderful place. They sell in a number of states and it's all, um, well, kind of a dropship thing. Anyway, I'm digressing. I'm recording gritty news here, gritty news. So anyway, uh, the director is doing that and um, my dehydrator, which I have an Excalibur, it is outside on the deck and it is heating up because I would never think of doing this inside. Um, the fumes would be just like, yikes. So anyway, I'm gonna, the kitchen is a disaster area. I made um, a big batch of hummus today and we're doing this. And so I'm just gonna pan around here to show you my racks of, and there's my racks of pepper. I'm gonna get in there. There we go. And uh, I'm just laying them out. Luckily, I have a lot of trays, so I can give them a lot of room to uh, dehydrate it. Anyway, um, I've got these set. Uh, the timer is going to be about 12 hours. I'll check them. I doubt it will take that long. And I've got them on the vegetable setting, so it's, I think it's 125 degrees. So anyway, um, he's doing the... I'm going to scroll, scroll back around here nice and slow. I'm terrible with this camera, director. There he is. Get out again. Ooh, I just got your face. There we go. That must have been scary. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to keep doing what we're doing here. And uh, we're both wearing gloves, needless to say. And we have um, a designated towel and a designated washcloth that are the only two we are to be using while we are doing this. It is dangerous, seriously. It is dangerous work. You have to be so careful. This um, is what they use in pepper spray. It is what they use in pepper spray. So, you know, you don't want to do this uh, with children. Um, you don't want to do it when you're not paying total attention. And uh, but, Especially the mandolin part. Oh, man. Okay. This one is... Anything? Yeah, it's kind of funky. I'd, I'd take that one away, too. Okay. You know, out of that four pounds, we have only had two peppers that are clunkers. I, I think that, you know, that's pretty good. Not bad. Um, I was going to say something else. Oh, what's wonderful is these dry up and they are so terrific. You can just, um, you know, I pull them out. I put them in a chili or, uh, you know, rehydrate them and I use them in, I don't know, all kinds of stuff, you know. I mean, they're just, God, I'm getting so used to this camera. It's just like, oh my gosh. Okay, folks. Well, I'm going to pause it here and... Uh, then I will show you how I am loading the Excalibur once I get that done. No more director. That's as far as you go on that pepper. I'm All right, not folks. Too late. Yeah, okay. Okay, folks. We're out of here. We'll see you later. Uh, oh. Director, you want to say adieu? Director cut himself. Oh, see, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go, folks. Like I said, use care. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Okay, we're back and uh, we healed up the director's finger. He did a pretty good cut on it. I don't know what it is about men. They just don't seem to get it. Okay, so anyway, here's my um, Excalibur. I got it outside because I didn't know how um, bad the fumes would be. And actually, it's great. It smells like bell pepper, really. These have been in for about three hours. Let me take a look here. And uh, they're looking great. They're looking really, really good. I don't think it's going to take that full 12 hours that I thought it would. These are really starting to crisp up nicely and I've got one, two, three, four, five. I had six racks. So um, anyway, it'll be interesting to see uh, what kind of quantity I have when we're done drawing and I'll go ahead and uh, let you know about that when we do. Okay, everybody, check in later. Bye-bye.
Okay, we're back. And here is the dehydrated jalapenos. Now this took six hours in my Excalibur at 125 degrees. And I'm talking about just, oh my gosh. And in fact, the director and I, we said, oh, we need to try this. So I took just a little tiny piece and I said, yow, this is like, you know, what did he do? He took a whole slice and stuck it in his, tell us director, how was it? Hot. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to put these into a mason jar. I'm going to put a uh, oxygen absorber in it. And then we're going to suck it with our food saver um, lid sucker. What do you call that? Lid sucker. I don't know. Whatever. And then they will be all set for us. And we're going to have a wonderful winter with lots of, really, don't you agree, director? This is like fresh. It is. It is. It's, it's just, I mean... Uh, Very potent. Anytime I dehydrate something, it's like, God, what else can I dehydrate? I, it's just, it's incredible. I so, keep trying to ask her to make jerky for me, but so oh, far, no well, luck. I'm going to make jerky. I will make you jerky, and we will do a video on jerky. Okay, folks, this is Jill for today and the director signing out. Bye. Bye.